Venusoy S3.5 was just listed by Victron Energy. So in the next part of the video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can install the new software, how you can configure the new web interface, and of course, how you can run on your VRM portal and also on your display. So let's get started. <laughs> Welcome back to CS Tech Cloud, you here. So in the next video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can install the new Venus OS 3.5 that was just released by Victron Energy. For those who are in beta right now, please switch to official release because from now on you can enjoy the new JX app on your Android tablet with official release of 3.5. So I'm going to show you how you can do it at home. Basically, you have two options. The first one is to go in front of your device in your garage and do it from your display. And for those who don't have a display, of course, you have an option to do it remotely via VRM. So in my case, even I have the system here on my uh, studio, I'm going to show you how you can do it remotely. Basically, this is the test uh, system. I don't have any PV. I don't have an inverter. So my web interface will be empty, but the step that you must follow in order to install the software is the same in my case let's go to remote console and as you can see over here basically what's happening on my display is mirroring here on my vrm portal and let's go into the menu as you can see it's moving in real time let's go into the settings and of course let's hit firmware and of course from here hit online online updates and you have some option over here Update feed. Update feed, please select official release, so no beta anymore. If you want to try beta, please keep in mind beta is beta, official release is official release. So for this video, I recommend you to install the official release. And of course, uh, on the bottom you have image type, you have normal if you decide to install only the Venus OS 3.5. And of course, you have an option to install the large version. The large version mean we'll install also the Node Red, but we're gonna cover this in the next video. Check for updates, of course, you can check and my system was already checked before I hit. And as you can see over here, update available, please update to version 3.5. What is the main difference between the, these two options? The first main difference is that the version 3.5 no longer make mirror. As you can see over here, if I move something on my Mac, on VRM, also will move it on my screen. So this is a very resource consumption and of course power consumption from your chatbot. Basically, the system has a team viewer system between your display and your uh, web interface so this make it to work very very slow with the new version everything was gone and the system will move and will move to menu very very fast so no more uh, screen mirroring but also keep in mind what's happening in real time on your turbo will also mirror and will happen in real time in your, your system but the only missing part is you don't see what's happening in your system if you move from web let's hit update please keep in mind this update uh, takes around three minutes so i'm gonna hit update and i'm gonna skip when the update will be finished and i'm gonna show you how we can configure from there so uh, you wish me luck one two three update let's see what's happening the system it's installing come on one percent so see you at 99 Okay, we're back. So the system was already installed at 3.5. So in this moment, the system will reset. So let's wait for a reset. So once the Victron will be turned it on, so the Cherbo JX will finish to boot, you're gonna see the old interface and let's wait because you still run the old interface after the new version of the software was running. And I'm gonna show you how you can switch between them. And of course, if you decide you can still keep the old interface, but I don't know what's the point installing the new version if you're still running on old interface. So let's wait a few moments in order to have a boot from Cherbo. And you can see the Cherbo is starting right now. Let's wait. I'm gonna refresh also the web page because I'm gonna show you what's happening on the VRM side. Let's wait for Cherbo to start. Let's wait for Cherbo to connect to our Wi-Fi. So in this moment, you still have the old interface that you can see on the screen, but after a few moments, you will receive a pop-up message from Victron that give you an information that you have a new version available. So that's the message. So good news. In this moment, if I go on my web and hit remote, I still have the remote side. So basically what's happening on the screen is mirroring over here. So if I hit next, I have an option to select the new interface, the old one. So I'm gonna select ask me later so in this way i still have the old interface and i still have this mirroring between them so as you can see i have a little bit lag between my chair and my display even they are in the same network so with this new 3.5 this will disappear 
So let me close over here, let me refresh the page and let me show you what's happening. If I select remote console, I have a pop-up from web interface that asks me, you still want the old interface or you want the new one? Of course I want the new one. So the system will run in VRM the old interface or the new one. You guess the new interface. So from here you can see I can scroll to menus. Sorry, I don't have any devices on this demo unit. But as you can see, I can make all the settings and everything that will happen and will run in Cherbo will also sh be shown on my screen. So on the LCD, you have an option to use this old one. And of course, you can see the new one on the web. But I recommend you also to install the new one. So you have two options over here. First one is to go from here to make it manually. Menu. And of course, let's select settings. And from here, you can scroll to display and language. And of course, on the bottom, you have user interface. You can select the old one or the new one. Also, you can go in your web browser on the new settings on the same display and language. And also on the bottom, you have the user interface and you have the new UI. So I'm going to select new UI from browser and you will see the system will refresh the page. And of course, you'll also run the new, inter new interface. So I select the new interface. The system will refresh in a few moments. Come on, Cherbo, refresh it. So the system was refreshed. And of course, also on display, you will see the new interface. So with this new version, you won't see a real time mirroring from Cherbo to your system. But in fact, you're going to see all the information in real time from your Cherbo. Basically, this has more more or less traffic so you don't have a lot of traffic and also Cherbo will run with more well, with small resources sorry for my english i'm not a native english speaker i'm gonna try to explain this technical stuff in english so sometimes i misspell something so basically when you run this new interface the Cherbo will run at low power so in this way the system is running the new interface and of course once you turn on your display you see you will see this overview or brief page if you want to see the overview page let me hit it come on it's in the middle basically you have the old style new interface but if you want to keep this as an official page so once the system will reboot you want every time to be loaded with this page you can do this also from screen but let's do it from web let's select new interface let's go into the settings and of course you're gonna go into display and language we have the start page start page and from here we can select multiple ways in my case i'm going to select overview so overview is the same display you see right now on the screen so every time the system will boot will show this information so this was my video for today i hope you enjoy it i, I hope you learned something new and of course i hope you know how to install the new cherbo uh, jx basically the venus jx 3.5 on your JX side. So if you want to see more videos like this, don't hesitate, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. And of course I check some statistics and 85% of you, you are not subscribed to this channel. So I recommend you to subscribe and of course keep following us because we're gonna make all kind of Victron stuff and solar stuff tests here on CS Deck because we are moving to bigger studio. So this one will be here for a short time. So see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, bye.